Halloween Twister Nation, I'm Danielle. And I'm Angie. We're thrilled you've joined us for another weekly edition of Twister Talk. We hope you had some great parent-teacher conferences this week. I know for us, it's been great to hear how our kids' grades have really improved through the help of Twister tutoring. It was such an awesome week here at Twister Sports. We started it off with one of our favorite events, UCM Homecoming. Go Mules! Twisters put on the greatest show in town during the UCM Homecoming Parade, Saturday, October 22nd. Tons of Twister athletes dressed up in their finest circus attire and paraded through the streets of downtown Warrensburg. to everyone that participated. This week we'll turn our eyes towards our first competitive tumbling meet the season. Our team will compete in Lenexa, Kansas this Saturday beginning at 1 p.m. If you'd like to attend, entry is only $5. Today we'll be featuring one of our amazing staff members who coaches at both our Warrensburg and Sedalia location. Tons of parents have told us that they love that this coach pushes them and their children to succeed in their classes. My name is Caitlin Sliger and I am 21 years old. I started working at Twisters in July of 2015 and I am a senior at the University of Central Missouri. My major is secondary science education. I've been tumbling since I was a sophomore in high school when I did cheerleading. One of my favorite classes to teach would be Springs 2 because I see a lot of progress. They work really hard and there's never a dull day with them. My best piece of advice to give the kids would be don't be afraid to take advice from others. Set a goal and challenge yourself. If you live in Warrensburg and you're watching this Friday morning, and you're probably thinking, what are we going to do all day today? Well, we've got the solution. This morning we'll host our daytime playtime from 9 to 11 a.m. And because the kids are out of school today, we'll even have our boot camp obstacle course for those who are seven or older or those who are with a parent. we'll be hosting our third annual Halloween Family Fun Night. The 6 to 8 p.m. time frame is perfect for little ones to celebrate the holiday in a family-friendly, unspooky sort of way. We'll play carnival games and host a costume contest. From 8 to 10 p.m. though, the gym will get darker and a lot scarier. You can make your way through the boot camp obstacle course, but just know you're not going to be the only one in there. We'll host our first ever Fear Factor games and find out just how brave you really are. A big thanks to Country Pets and Ponds for letting us borrow a few little critters for our Fear Factor event. Lastly, we'll take a haunted walk through an old carnival right here at Twisters. And most of you will even come out alive. We recommend the 8 to 10 p.m. time frame for children 10 and up. And then on Halloween, join us down by the Johnson County Courthouse for Warrensburg's annual downtown trick-or-treating from 4 to 6 p.m. Twister members will get candy and non-members will get a candy plus a special offer. A big thanks to our Warrensburg Main Street for hosting that awesome event. Yes. Through November 1st, we'll be offering a parent swag bag for only $24.99. This awesome package is perfect for parents who are getting up early to go to competitions or our Saturday morning parents coming to classes, or really, anyone who loves coffee. <laughs> our package offers a t-shirt, an awesome blinged out t-shirt for the moms, and a travel mug. The mug is 100% BPA free, 16 ounce mug, perfect for coffee or hot chocolate. This, this swag is only available for order through November 1st, so don't delay, order today. As a reminder, our indoor batting cages, right down the hall, <laughs> are ready for you. We offer two Iron Mike pitching machines. We've already seen tons of progress from those who've been regularly hitting. And we know with our cages, you'll get one step closer to your next home run, just like the Cubs. Go Cubs. As a reminder, we highly recommend you book your cages in advance. You can do this by calling 660-238-2000. 
0577. Going to our website at www.twistersports.com backslash baseball or by downloading our free Twister Sports app. Since Halloween is Monday, and we are closed for classes Monday evening, yes. Yes. we've got Justin Johnston, one of our Twister Sports owners, and my husband, here to give you some Halloween safety tips for this year. Good morning, everybody. I wanted to uh, talk to you guys a little bit about safety tips this Halloween, only because I've been doing safety for, I think, 13 years now in the military, and I was also highway patrol back in the days. Working. Um, so tip number one for today is uh, wearing reflective clothing. And we say that, but you don't have to wear reflective clothing. You can wear stuff like, uh, or have things like a pumpkin that's very bright. Um, some stuff that we've bought, and we've actually had these for like the last five years, Costco. are these little battery operated things that you push a button on and one strobes. It's got five different functions on it. The kids use them as lightsabers and they love them. Uh, We've actually been using these for a long time. But you can do simple things as the glow-in-the-dark necklaces, uh, the wristbands that glow in the dark that you put around, uh, just things like that. Something that stands out to a vehicle as they're driving by at night. Also, it's easy to watch them as they run down the street and from uh, house to house. Tip number two uh, is watch for tripping hazards with your costumes. There's a lot of costumes out there that do a lot of different things and a lot of them have feet on them and things like that. Just watch for tripping hazards because the last thing you want is out having a fun time and have your kid trip and have a bloody nose when blood wasn't part of their costume. So <laughs> anyways, uh, this was an interesting tip that uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't known in the past, but being from California, uh, we didn't even know our next door neighbors. Out here in Missouri, it's a lot better, but I don't know if you knew this, but one in four people do not know their neighbors. Uh, just be aware of the route that they're taking, um, that maybe the, the kids, if they're a little older, are going with a buddy. And if you are taking your younger kids out, this is a great time to get to know any of those neighbors that you may not already know. Okay, tip number four today is to check your child's candy. We live in a great neighborhood, we know our neighbors, um, and I'm comfortable with what my neighbors are giving our kids to eat. However, you don't always know that maybe there's not something in that candy that your child's allergic to. So this is a good opportunity to check the candy to make sure that it's both safe and that it's allergy free for your kids. Tip number five, uh, talk to your kids about when they're trick-or-treating, that they're not going in people's houses. There's a lot of times that we've been trick-or-treating and with the kids and a lot of the decorations lead up and into the house where they have a scare thing going on or animated creatures or something like that. Um, the problem you run into is a lot of people have pets. Um, a lot of people might have tripping hazards in the house that uh, the kid didn't see. Um, if you have uh, very rambunctious kids with swords and stuff, you don't know how an animal will react to those or the costume or something like that. And uh, just to alleviate any other hazards like that, going into people's houses, uh, probably a no-no. So. Twister Sports is all about safety, but we also want you to have an awesome Halloween with a lot of fun and a lot of candy. So thank you for watching and have a good week. Happy Halloween. Finally, we want to thank a few special people who will be celebrating their events with us at Twister Sports. Fries batty cages if the Cubs win. And if they win the World Series, I'm gonna open it for free for all Cubs fans for a week. Maybe for a day. <laughs> <laughs> free cages for a day if they win the World Series. They've won one game? You're getting there. It's likely we'll go to seven games. Yes. Cubs fans are used to that.